Now, We 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. All right, so it is certainly a nice day out there today. Good day for the pool. Good right? day for the pool, <laughs> it's right? It's extremely hot out there, too. I know. Grab a book, sit by the pool, uh -huh. hang out. Just enjoy the weekend, right? Perfect. Yeah. Tomorrow, though, a little bit of a different story. Oh, completely different. We are in a 31 alert day mm -hmm. for tomorrow as a result of expected severe weather, and we're going to walk through that in detail. At least for right now, though, let's take a look at Gunnersville. We'll hop on over to Marshall County, where we had a Hydro Fest earlier today, and again tomorrow. Beautiful views there, and hardly a cloud in the sky. 5.18 p.m., and we are completely dry on 31 triple dot at this point. But like Brittany and I talked about, I'm expecting more showers and storms to come into the forecast tomorrow that are likely to bring severe weather. At least for this evening, though, if you're going outside for an early dinner, well, temperatures are still quite warm for us. 92 degrees in Muscle Shoals, only 86 in Gunnersville, but that same 92 in Huntsville and Decatur. So it is a warm one. If you're hanging outside with the kids or planning on picnicking, well, you better hope there's a breeze and there's a little bit, so that should be good. All right, at first pitch, not long from now at Toyota Field, 90 degrees and sunny and then when the game ends upper 70s for your temperature it is a beautiful night for a ball game we do have that breeze there the dew points are low and it'll be getting progressively cooler and more mild through the night so really the perfect night to be at Toyota Field you can see the team getting ready to take on the biscuits all right now tomorrow we got to talk about something serious we are in a 31 alert day for expected severe weather what I'm watching out for is large hail and damaging wind gusts now our severe threat window is from 7 p.m. on Sunday evening until 4 a.m. on Monday morning. Now what's most likely to happen is I'm going to push this 4 a.m. closer to about 1 o'clock in the morning so that our severe threat ends earlier. But for right now, we do want to keep that buffer on that. The reason that we're in this severe alert and 31 alert day is that all of our counties, each one of us, are in a level 2 out of 5 risk for severe weather on Sunday. All right, it's all going to start in the mid-morning in southern Tennessee and pushing over the Alabama Tennessee state line by about 11 a.m. This will continue to track south impacting Huntsville, Scottsboro, Decatur and Athens at about lunchtime bringing torrential rain and gusty wind. Now this is not the severe portion of this storm but it is still going to be strong thunderstorms. This continues to track south of Gunnersville, south of Coleman and then mostly get out of our way by about four o'clock. By the time we get to dinner time all eyes shift west on the shoals and that's when we're starting to watch for the band that will bring the severe weather. At 7 o'clock, some scattered showers and storms out in front of the boundary, and then our cold front comes to us. Now, this cold front is where we could see that severe weather, and you can see it's perfect linear formation. Now, this is going to continue to track east from 9 o'clock all the way through 10 east of the corridor, and then continuing to fizzle out as it heads east, but still bringing plenty of flashes of lightning, those pockets of hail, and those very, very gusty winds. So, I need you to be weather aware with me all day, but I especially need you to be weather are aware with me in the west around dinner time and in the east around bedtime on your Sunday. Again, the biggest threats that I'm watching are for some heavy rain and some gusty wind, as well as that hail. And go ahead and take this opportunity to download the Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app. That way we can get updates to you tomorrow night if you need them so that you and your family can stay safe. All right, well, it's the sunshine today. It's the storms tomorrow, and then later this week, it's a likely heat wave. Take a look at those temperatures sitting in the mid and upper 90s to close out the next work week and head into the next weekend. It is going to be a scorcher of a 10-day forecast. So we do have that 31 alert day in effect on Sunday. I really need you all to stay weather aware with me there. We'll have the sunshine return on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then it is hot, hot, hot conditions heading into the end of next week and next weekend. Right now, 4th of July is looking a little bit rainy, but it's still too far out to say for sure. I'm still monitoring that system and uh, we'll have more on that coming up in the next several days. All right. Thank you, Grace. And the good news is that tomorrow most people will be able to get most of their plans in before this weather comes They in. will. They so. will.